Hello everybody and welcome back to Black Beanie Gaming. My name is Murphy and we're here again reacting to your Minecraft builds. The ones that you submitted in the Black Beanie Gaming Discord for me to be thoroughly impressed by and to feel wholly inadequate afterwards. We're going to jump right into this, but before we get started, if you'd like to support the channel, please consider becoming a patron or a YouTube member. Links for both are in the description below, as well as links to all of our social medias, as well as the Discord and the subreddit. All right, let's get a sip of coffee. Uh, the first submitter, CK Fitz. So he had a submission in the last video where there was a church in the background and I was like, oh, it'd be really cool to see the interior of the church. And this is what he's provided. Yeah, look, you got all the pews right there. You got the carpet done, really good color coordination. I love all of the different colors on the windows, vaulted ceiling, illuminated nicely, looks really cool. And here's some of his other buildings in and around Dublin. Here you see you got the statues right up there at the top. Looks neat. Very much works in progress here, but you can definitely see where he's gonna go with this using the natural texture pack i think you got the round sun up there i always like that hour there in the distance this is gonna look really cool when it's done another gigantic area you can see how big these buildings are gonna be all right ck did you submit anything else for us to look at here we go one liberty plaza in philadelphia again doesn't look like it's complete yeah, you've done a really, really good job with the top of the building here. Here's the top of that building just for reference there. It's tough because in Minecraft, in order to really accentuate the shape, you would probably need to outline some of these angles here with a solid color brick or like a quartz brick, something that's a solid color so it stands out against the glass. Either that or you can make it with the glass and then put that block on the inside to really accentuate the shape. But otherwise it's it's tough to do and so far this is looking pretty solid. Thank you so much for your submissions, man. Can't wait to see what you put out next time. Okay, next up we have Scrut01 with One Liberty Plaza in New York. That is an 80s skyscraper, 70s, 80s skyscraper. Look at that thing, looks very true to life. Ah, here we go. This is the Telus Towers. Oh, wow. How tall are these? It's kind of hard to tell. Okay, yeah, here we go. Hey, random village over there. Are you telling me that you're you're building in a flat world that still had uh, structures generated so you can futz around with the, the villagers? Huh. Yeah, I like the towers a lot. I like the inclusion of some of the trees right there. Not crazy about some of this, these regular glass blocks just kind of chilling on the edge there. All right, looks like we're looking at it from the other other side here. Yeah, you can see right there on the inside Telus Tower. Is this the city's texture pack? Is that what I'm looking at here just based off the way the glass looks? You'll have to let me know. Let me know in the comments what texture pack you use for this. All right, looks like we got one more from Strut here. Ting One, one of the tallest, if not the tallest building in Ornskoldsvik. This looks like the speech to text of someone sneezing. What a wacky looking building. Either way, really, really cool build. That looks really neat. Let me let me pull up the real thing. What? <laughs> what a wacky building. What are you guys doing out there in Sweden? Not only does this look like a Jenga tower near the end of the game, it just makes me want to like press it back together. Like I feel if you pressed it back together, it would gain like twice the height. Either way, epic build, man. Thank you so much for sharing all your stuff. All right, let's see who's next. Cool Beans with more of his Oracle Park that I shared in the last video. There we go. Look at that scoreboard. Look at the detail in the scoreboard right there. That looks awesome. Got the foul line markers right there at the end. The diamond looks great. Oh, I'm so glad you decided to get some shots from inside the stadium. That looks so cool. People tend not to realize how well stadiums translate into Minecraft. Like, especially a lot of, like, older, more classic stadiums. Like, a lot of older baseball stadiums, you know? They have a lot of exposed architecture. It translates really well to the jagged edges of Minecraft. Oh, yeah, look at that. Inside the park. Do these actually light up? Do you have any, like, night? shots where you can show these lighting up there view from the dugout cool view from the lower stands oh that's a really smart idea using yellow glass right there i wouldn't even think to do that yeah look at this first off it's so huge you can barely fit it in with his his render distance here but look at all of the different angles at play see this little itty bitty indentation right here this is one angle going this way and that has to translate all the way up the stands all the way up through here but that's the beauty of making something amazing in minecraft is like when you're when you look at the finished product it seems obvious but like getting to the point 
point where you figure out how to build stuff like this. It's so frustrating, but very rewarding. All right, really, really good progress on your Oracle Park there, Cool Beans. Moving on to the next. Joshua has some submissions with an amusement park. Okay, I can see that. It looks like a roller coaster there. That reminds me of the Top Thrill Dragster. I don't know if anybody's ever been to Cedar Point. Neat, you got some pixel art here of what looks like a dragon on your roller coaster here. Let's see, it extends up into the distance there. I'd like to see another angle of that, get a good look. Okay, here are some others. Amusement park looks like some more pixel art down there, maybe to denote which ride is which. That looks like the Batman logo oh man this is making me want to play like roller coaster tycoon oh neat here you go yeah whoop, and then whoop. very cool thank you for sharing those josh all right moving on to one of our most prolific builders here ziggy all right here is one vanderbilt there's a lot of complicated architecture at the top of, of one Vanderbilt, so that's definitely a good job. The Woolworth building, excellent composition on this shot there. You got the trees there, there's this thing. I always love when people add the little poles on the sidewalk that are meant to like keep traffic from driving up on the curb. It's always pretty cool, it's a nice touch. Bank of China Tower in Hong Kong, that looks pretty dope. And you can tell it's not very large. And, and this is a point I try to make all the time with people is you don't need to make buildings 500 blocks tall in order for them to look good or for them to look nearly identical to their real world counterparts. Oh, the Seattle Space Needle. I think you've shared this one before. Ooh, look at these buildings in the background right there. Obviously the, the Space Needle, like the tower itself, would need to be much, much taller. Still, it's you've pretty much knocked it out of the park here. Looks great. Especially the little pavilion out here in the front. And you've got a version of St. Basil's Cathedral. Wow, not bad. Again, it's, it's not the largest scale here. Just because it's small doesn't mean you can't fit an astonishing amount of detail in there. And of course, the Transamerica Pyramid. Love what you've done with the bottom there. Love the addition of the trees. Love the top. Looks fantastic. All right, here we go. Looks like you've got a street level view of your city. And you got the rain. Got some, some chilly, cold morning vibes there. I like it. I like it a lot. Ooh, -hoo, an update on your entire skyline here. What's what's the name of your city, Chelsea? Yeah, this looks awesome. If you want to see what it looked like before, go back and watch the uh, the previous video in this little series here. Look at all of these buildings here. Missing an interior on this one and on one Vanderbilt, but it's looking very good. It's a sophisticated skyline with plenty of peaks and valleys here. All right, Ziggy, thank you so much for sharing. Can't wait to see what you come up with next time, man. All right, we've got a bunch of submissions from X. 78p. All right, look at this World Trade Center complex here. He's one of those big brain Minecraft players who lights up individual floors to give it a really complex, natural look to it. Ah, oh, looks like I've got a glimpse right there. It looks like you just kind of make the exterior, but build up some stuff right up against the walls. Oh, cool. Look at that. Yeah, definitely like the end rods up there for LED lights. Yeah, look at that. Very cool. Really smart with the, the slab and the, the doors on either side to use as the metal detectors. That's 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 some smart stuff. That's some smart stuff right there. Yeah, you got some really good cross sections of city right there. World Trade Center Complex is obviously the largest part, um, but it's coming along everywhere else here. Is this going to be like a one-to-one? -one? Either these are shader packs or you're using the RTX. You'll have to tell me what you were using in these to make them, to gussy them up like this but yeah these look really good yeah but the lighting is much better look at that yeah, this definitely looks like rtx uh the the direct lighting on this makes it look a little flat but i mean that's not something you can really worry about to be honest with you oh man that is picture perfect look at that phenomenal well done all right blue sky the fox here with some awesome awesome shots of his lower manhattan yeah look at this nighttime shot all of these buildings look fantastic you got this marina right there twin towers right there daytime shot of the same looks fantastic loving all the detail that you can see in the tops of these buildings here oh wow look at your brooklyn bridge I like it. I like it a lot. And these these suspension cables here, I see how you've done them. Oh yeah, more shots. Oh, this building's fun. <laughs> Not a single straight line on that building. Neat. Oh, here's your statue of Steve. Is that... <laughs> Changed it to Hero Brian. No! No, why would you do that? That's illegal! And here is an up-to-date shot. Oh, I don't like those clouds. I don't like those clouds. I do love the glass structure right here leading into the marina. And are those candy canes? No, they are candy canes because I can see Santa Steve right there in the distance. All right, Blue, thanks so much for sharing. 
All right, we've got user Gabri, Gabri Power 333. That certainly looks familiar. Yeah, Empire State Building there. One World Trade Center there. Looks really cool. Really cool. Ah, uh, Taipei 101. I swear to God, this is the building I'm most proud of for building myself. Like, I'm, I'm so proud of how I got this to, to turn out. And it always is. It's an honor that you guys like those tutorials and that you build them and that you enjoy the way they look afterwards because they are so hard to do. Thanks for sharing, man. Can't wait to see what you come up with next time. Armed Georgie. What do you got for me? This itty bitty Statue of Liberty. Look how small it is. <laughs> the statue still looks better than mine. I, oh, is that my Burj Khalifa over there in the distance? Looks a little bit like it. Looks a little bit like it. This is neat. He's got a wooden skyscraper here. Is this custom? This looks like the Empire State Building. McDonald's skyscraper. All right, very cool. Very cool. Recreated this skyscraper from the OG Minecraft YouTuber Stampy. Added an antenna to be a little different from the original. It's kind of evil looking, but I mean, yeah, it looks good. I like all the colors. Ah, a compliment to your odd ones out. Uh, pixel art. Jaden Animation. Yeah, I love both of those channels. So yeah, this is this is worthy. Well done, sir. Well done. All right, Georgie, thanks so much for sharing, bud. Ooh, here we go. We've got a lot of submissions from Lieutenant Lettuce, our resident vegetable. Oh, but he also posted up a picture of his survival estate. His survival estate. His survival chalet, as it were. You built all this in survival? Damn, son. Not bad. Yeah, it looks good. What, uh, what's on every one of the floors? Interior shots. I'd love to see them. Ooh, Rockefeller Center. This does not look like my design for Rockefeller Center. Granted, mine's a little bit smaller. This one, this one looks pretty true to life. Having been there myself, this looks pretty good. And it looks like you're not just building 30 Rock, the, the main tower. But it looks like you're building everything else as well. Yep, here we go. Here we go. Got some more of the skyscrapers here. Oh, I can see the Chrysler building in the distance there. And it looks like the Woolworth building. Dude, this is a very, very skinny iteration of, of this tower. Looks really good, though. Ah, uh, I love it when you post pictures of your city, man. He's He's got such a good eye. The proliferation of taller skyscrapers in certain areas. Uh, a, a good even distribution of older skyscrapers here, newer ones here, um, ones from like the 80s. That looks like Sears Tower right there. But either way, looks fantastic, sir. Fantastic. Skyline from the North River. Cool. Yeah, you can see the, the Empire State Building there. Downtown looks like a bunch of residential stuff right there on the waterfront. Ooh, interesting. Fog and rain. That's a good look, especially whatever this building here is in the middle. You'll have to fill me in on which building that is, if that's a real one or uh, an original design by you. But it looks good. It's got this eerie, ominous kind of look to it. All right, Lettuce, thanks so much for sharing. I can't wait to see what you come up with next time. Okay, who's next up on the docket here? <gasps> Rony the Puppy. Here we go. The U.S. Capitol building as depicted in 1800. Man, is that true? This looks like Hagrid's hut out here in the back. The hell is that? This is the Senate, and then this is the, the House of Representatives. Ooh, a Bob Ross-inspired build. Hmm. Oh, now, now you see we got our trees right here, and we're just going to make a nice little pathway through the flowers. There we go. Just like so. We're going to have a little red flower here, and another little red flower there, because every flower deserves a friend. Little dandelion right there. Hello. We're going to have a bunch of tall grass here. <laughs> Looks like someone needs to mow their lawn. And this nice little log cabin. There it is. No chimney because we want the trees to feel safe now. Not going to go through all that trouble of painting them just to cut them down. A nice little cloud watching over everything. Keeping an eye on all of us folks. Really cool, Ronnie. Thank you. Here is the complete U.S. Bank Tower in Minecraft. Look at that. Oh my goodness, this thing is huge. Yeah, look at that, looks cool, looks cool. It says US Bank, you guys are really good with using those banners to get like lettering and stuff up there, I'm terrible with it. Oh, Rony is the interior completely empty. For shame, sir, for shame. Obvious redemption because look at the top, that is awesome. Got the landing pad or whatever it is, you should put a little H right there just so it looks right. Excellent, excellent job there, Rony, that looks amazing. All right, ShipFan 1936 saying these are still under construction. This is the Disney Cruise Lines, Disney Magic, and Disney Wonder. Oh man, look at that. Yeah, definitely under construction, still got all that stuff here. But look, you've got all the lifeboats, you've got the upper decks right here, you got the smokestacks. 
Oh, here we go. Some interior shots. Yeah, look at that. Are these are these based off the, the real interiors? Like, got some glowstones here for the chandeliers. I'm loving all the different coloring on the uh, on the floor there. This tile pattern right through there. Is this like a stage? Here we go. Yeah. Look at that. Very cool. Load of detail. Very impressive buildings. Cannot wait to see what they look like when they're done. All right, dyslexic lad, 445. Good, good eye for the way that buildings like this, these, these like city block style buildings, they connect to each other right here, side by side. Ah, uh, 30 Rock in the distance there, that looks familiar. I love it when you guys post pictures from like the ground level looking up. It gives you a good sense of scale of like the actual buildings. Very cool, my man. Very cool. Oh, wow. Look at all the detail up there. This is like a, a through lane highway here. Ah, nice little simple uh, brick building here. Looks cool. All right, Dyslex Glad, please keep up the good work. All right, we've got Real Rider Builder. Oh, cool. Man, look at that US Bank building right there, Los Angeles. Another really good version of that building. Keeping the, the cylindrical kind of shape of the building with these roofs tapering up to the top there. It's really, it's not as easy as a lot of these builds make it look because these, these are not perfect circles. Like the center is sort of a perfect circle, but curves in Minecraft, they suck. Really good job with this. Your Chrysler building looks awesome too. When I eventually get around to making a tutorial for it, this this spire here in the roof, like that's gonna be the bane of my existence. Either way, Ryder looks real good, real good, real good. Here we go, we have Discord user Bunghole with some very familiar looking builds. Type A 101 right here, which looks like my design. You got Burj Khalifa right here, which looks like it's missing the upper portion of the building there. You get these giant like wall. Oh, I see what happened. You built Burj Khalifa in a regular world. You can't do that, man. It reaches the height limit. Now this doesn't look like RTX. This looks like you've definitely got some, some shader packs going here. You can tell by the clouds. Really, really cool. The way the light's bouncing off of everything, especially the, up, the, up the tower of Taipei 101 there looks great. Oh, there we go. You got 30 Rock. I like the big addition right there on the side. 30 Rock. My One World Trade Center, which again, will be improved in the future. Yeah, loving these night shots. They look real good. You got a pretty good sense of like how tall Burj Khalifa actually is when it's standing right next to the One World Trade Center. That thing whoop, right off the screen. Ooh, a daytime shot. Looks fantastic, man. Especially with all of these shaders, mods, whatever you're using. It looks great. Bunghole, thank you so much for sharing. All right, looks like we got Frixon or Frizon. F-R-I-X-O-N. Doofenshmitz Evil Inc. What is that from? What's the show? What's the show with the platypus? Phineas and Ferb, something like that. Am I getting that right? Is this the tower from Matt? You guys will have to let me know. Yeah, let, let me let me know if this is if that's from Phineas and Ferb. If that's what it is, it looks really good. This is what's interesting about using RTX. I'm just gonna assume that you're using RTX. It gives everything like a steampunk vibe. Like it's it's the lights accent things. They have a glow to them instead of like uh, illuminating a whole room. They just kind of like radiate this hue. Ooh, I like this building. I like this building. Very cool. There's your Doofenshmirtz. Doofenshmirtz. Interesting. That looks really good. And not just because of the shader and everything like that. That's really, really interesting how you've done that. All these like squiggly lines and stuff. If you if you work on this more, definitely share some more pictures of this building right here. Please and thank you, because that's got a really interesting look to it. All right, Frickson, thanks so much for sharing. Can't wait to see what you put in there next time. All right, last but certainly never least, we've got Dayton, who, if you remember, builds incredibly detailed buildings. And it looks like here he's got a lot of pixel art. Your favorite college sports team, the Minnesota Golden Gophers. I shouldn't say anything because I'm a Maryland Terrapins fan and we're the new kids on the block in the Big Ten, but the Golden Gophers, I see how it is. I'm guessing that you have an affinity for Minnesota because here are the Minnesota Vikings. Dayton, Dayton, my friend, friend of the channel, longtime contributor, the Vikings. I'm a Packer fan. I'm a Maryland fan and a Packer fan. Can't have this. Can't have this. Oh, but thank you for building the Burj Khalifa in the background there. Looks nice. 
In all seriousness though, this, this looks exactly like the logo. Very, very well done. Pixel art, believe it or not, is not actually easy, especially when you're working from something that wasn't pixel art to begin with. All right, and he's also posted a video here, the Royal Palace at Casarda, Italy in Minecraft. Let's go ahead and check this out. Yeah, here's the build right here. Look at all of that detail. See the grate? See the grate down there? Block tower up there. Another entryway here, another entryway there with all the hallways, let's see. Like, yes, it's, it's, Obviously, like there's a lot of repetition involved in this, but that's very tedious work. It's not easy to do. All right, looks like we got some aerial shots. Yeah, the four courtyards there. Look at that. Look at all of the variation here in these corners. There we go. An even better look at through the courtyard. Look at that. All these lanterns up top placed individually. This isn't easy to do, guys. It really isn't. Again, just... Mm. Mwah, mwah. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Absolutely beautiful. He's got a talent, ladies and gentlemen. It's obvious. All right, guys. Thank you so much for all of your submissions. It is always so much fun and so humbling to look at these awesome things that you guys build. If you liked some of the builds that you saw in this video, a lot of these guys have YouTube channels, so go check them out, especially Dayton. And of course, we have channels set up in our Discord where people show off everything they build all the time, not just for me to react to in videos. And everybody, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, become a member, become a patron, do whatever you want to do to help support the channel. Check out all the social medias, and don't forget to follow the Discord link in the description down below so you can go to the channel and submit your own builds for us to react to here and enjoy on the channel. See you guys next time.